The recent developments in diagnostic endoscopy have enabled the clinician to diagnose early esophageal cancer with growing frequency. Considering the significant morbidity related to radical esophagectomy, the option of early endoscopic treatments of esophageal cancer is increasingly being considered. The advances in diagnostic endoscopy that allow us to accurately detect early esophageal cancer include magnifying endoscopy, narrowband and autofluorescence imaging, OCT, and endomicroscopy. This next video clip demonstrates the application of advanced endoscopic imaging of a superficial esophageal lesion. Magnifying endoscopy can magnify the mucosa up to 100 fold. It shows an intricate image of the IPCL pattern. When narrowband imaging is used, the mucosal capillaries appear brown, whereas the submucosal veins appear blue. This image shows a relatively spared IPCL pattern, adjacent to an abnormal lesion. AFI clearly shows the normal mucosa in green. In contrast, the abnormal mucosa appears pink. When Lugol solution is used for chromoendoscopy, the abnormal mucosa in this patient is not stained. EST was performed on the lesion, which revealed moderately differentiated squamous cell carcinoma combined to the mucosa. EUS is known to be an extremely useful tool for local and regional staging of esophageal cancer. High frequency EUS using a mini probe is more accurate for distinguishing tumor extension into the muscularis mucosa. However, the limited depth of penetration precludes adequate assessment of nodal stage. High frequency mini probe also has a tendency to overstage early lesions when there is underlying inflammation of the tissue. In experienced TANS, EUS has been shown to be superior to CT for T and N staging of esophageal cancer.